Hello everyone, welcome to the Hard VC channel and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Apple Watch Ultra 3 with the iPhone 17 Pro. So this is the new Apple Watch Ultra 3 and this is the new iPhone 17 Pro and today we're going to be pairing the Apple Watch to the iPhone. So uh, the first thing that we're going to do, well the first thing that I suggest doing is actually restarting the Apple Watch right before the setup because uh, sometimes the Apple Watch just doesn't want to pair with the iPhone and like it doesn't let you start the setup. So I just suggest restarting it so it actually connects fully with no like disturbances and you can start the setup pretty easily. So let's wait for the Apple Watch to start up and uh, once it starts up there we go. Uh, we're going to open up the Apple Watch app on our phone. Uh, the Apple Watch app comes pre-installed with each iPhone, so it should be there. There we go. And uh, now we're going to open up the My Watch tab and uh, press Start Pairing. So uh, let's start again. So it just recognized the previous setup. Don't mind that. Now we're going to press Setup for myself. And now the screen of the Apple Watch should change. So it should look like this. And we're going to point the camera of our iPhone on the Apple Watch like this. And uh, wait for it to pair. There we go. So now it says your Apple Watch is paired. The screens are synchronized like this. And we can continue. So you can either restore from backup if you do have one from a previous Apple Watch or you can set up a new one. So in this video, we're going to be setting up a new Apple Watch. And uh, now we're going to select the wrist preference. So which wrist do we want to wear the Apple Watch on? So if your right hand, I suggest using left, and if your left hand, I suggest using right. Well, that's at least how I wear it. So let's, play, or let's press continue and uh, wait for the Apple Watch to connect. There we go. Now we can continue. And uh, let's agree to the terms and condition to continue. And here we're going to set in an Apple Watch passcode. So you can create a passcode or don't even add a passcode. It's just creating a passcode and um, it won't really uh, like uh, distract you from the process because uh, I used to think that if you have an Apple Watch and you have a passcode on it, you need to like enter the passcode anytime you just turn it on. But no, uh, you need to enter the passcode only uh, when you put it on your wrist so uh, basically once a day uh, only when you put it on your wrist you need to enter the passcode and uh, throughout the day it's not going to ask you as long as you have it on your wrist so i'm going to use this passcode anyway one two three four that's the password that i'm going to set and now we've set the password we can continue so uh, we have the bold text and size so we can change the preferred like size and boldness of the text so we just select the options that you want you can preview them on the apple watch as they change change the size of the text like this so it's readable and once you're set you can press continue so this talks about shared settings which basically means that the settings from your phone will be synchronized with the apple watch and here you can personalize your fitness and health. So you need to like enter all of this data so your Apple Watch can accurately track all of the things that you're doing. So this automatically filled in from the health app on my phone. Uh, these aren't really accurate to me, but you should uh, like uh, set them up accurately if you want the best like uh, uh, evaluations. So let's press continue. This is a sleep schedule. If you want to set up a sleep schedule to see your uh, cycles, like the tracking of your sleep cycles, uh, like your blood pressure or heartbeat during the during your sleep, you can set that up. We're going to skip it for now. Notifications about your health, which is like if uh, it's too noisy around you or your headphones are too noisy, it's going to send you a notification. You can enable that and press continue. So this is like the safety features. You have the emergency SOS where you can call the emergencies, emergency numbers through your Apple Watch by just holding the power button and pressing emergency call. 
you have the fall detection so if you're working out and you fall it can detect a like a hard fall and call for help and the same thing with crash detection it detects a crash and also can call for help automatically the siren if you need to attract help in an emergency your watch can play a loud sound basically what it says right here backtracking is if you get lost you can enable backtracking or oh, make sure to enable it before you get lost you can enable backtracking to see your route and you can track back using that route and uh, get yourself out of, out of that tricky situation emergency sos via satellite is a relatively relatively new feature where you can uh, use a satellite connection when like um, a cellular cell, cellular connection isn't available so you can press continue and these are the one-handed gesture controls so you can just like flick your wrist to return to the home screen or you can double tap to reply to a message answer a call uh, and uh, other stuff that you can set up for yourself press continue this is where we choose what the action button does so this uh, differently colored button right here you can do a waypoint backtrack dives torch uh, all of this other stuff so just select the option that you feel you use like uh, most often I'll do workout for now press continue you can always always change that setting in the settings of the Apple Watch you have the depth app which measures how deep you are underwater if you're into that so it, it can automatically detect it and uh, you can enable that or disable it so I'm going to enable it so open depth depth when submerged this is the diving saving make sure to read that and I was going to sign in into our account so let's wait for this setup to finish so while the setup gets finished we can uh, get to know our watch which means it, you can press on this button uh, on the bottom and uh, like find out about the features on your watch so like Apple Watch user guide, welcome to Apple Watch, what's new in the watch OS and uh, explore the watch apps, you can also download apps on your Apple Watch so now that the uh, Apple Watch has almost finished setting up, there we go we can now press done, close out of the uh, out of our phone we don't really need it anymore and let's continue with our Apple Watch so we can press start and it's going to show us the controls of the uh, Apple Watch so we can either take a tour or skip I'm going to press skip and uh, that's pretty much it if you've taken the tutorial you now know how to use the Apple Watch so yeah that's it thank you for watching i hope this video helps you and make sure to like and subscribe